In this video, I will consider one numerical on superposition theorem. Find current through 6 ohm register using superposition theorem. This is the given circuit. We need to calculate current through 6 ohm register that is I using superposition theorem. So in this circuit, we can observe that there are total 3 sources. 2 are independent sources that is 15 volt and 10 volt are independent sources whereas 3i is dependent source. So this is current dependent current source. So in superposition theorem, we need to consider one source at a time. Since in this circuit, there is a dependent source. If circuit consists of dependent source, we should keep dependent source as it is. So we have to consider 15 volt source once and 10 volt source once. We need to calculate current through 6 ohm register. Then sum of those two current is nothing but total current flows through 6 ohm register. Now let me consider 15 volt source alone. If 15 volt source alone, if we consider 15 volt source alone, then we need to short circuit this 10 volt source. Let me short circuit this 10 volt and let me consider 15 volt source alone. That is considering consider 15 volt source alone. So I will assume current through 6 ohm register is I1 when 15 volt source is considered. So here there was a voltage source of 10 volt that is shorted. So I will solve this. I will try to find current I1 using superposition theorem. So here we can observe that in this loop current I1 is flowing. I will assume current through this loop is say I2. I will solve this using loop analysis method. So here we can observe that there is a current source between two loops. If current source is between two loops, we need to analyze current source first. So here I can say that 3I1 is equal to I2 and 3I1. Both are in same direction. I can write I2 minus I1 or I can write it as 3I1 plus I1. 3I1 plus I1 is equal to I2 or I can write 4I1 is equal to I2. So I have already analyzed the current source. Now we have to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. If this is removed from the circuit, then we can find only one single loop. This single loop is known as super loop. That is now apply KVL to super loop. So let me start from here. That is I can write 15 is equal to voltage across 6 ohm register is 6 I1. Then current will flow like this. In 8 ohm register current I2 will flow. That is 8 I2. Or I can write 15 is equal to 6 I1 plus we need to calculate I1. So I will try to replace I2 by I1. That is 8 into I2 is nothing but 4 I1. 4 I1. Therefore I can write 15 is equal to 6 I1 plus 32 I1. Or I can write, write it as 15 is equal to 32 plus 6. That is 38 I1. Therefore, I1 is equal to 15 divided by 38. So solving this, we will get I1 is equal to. So here we have 15 divided by 38. So it gives 0 0.394. Zero point three nine four amps. So I1 that is considering 15 volt source alone the current through 6 ohm register is 0 0.394 amperes. So in the same way now I will consider 10 volt source alone and I will short 15 volt source. So this 3i current dependent source should be kept as it is. So here now I am considering here 10 volt source alone 15 volts is shorted. So when I consider 10, 10 volt, I will assume current through 6 ohm register is I2. Since it is dependent on this current, this will also become 3I2. That is consider 
10 volt source alone. So now I will assume current through this loop is say I2. This end is positive, this is negative. Let me assume current through this loop is I1. So again, I will solve this using loop analysis method. Here, there is a current source between two loops. I will analyze this current source first. I can write 3I2 is equal to 3I2 and I1 are in same direction. So it is I1 minus I2. Or I can write 3I2 plus I2 is equal to I1. Or I can write 4I2 is equal to I1. So now after analyzing the current source, we have to assume that this current source is removed from the circuit. If it is removed, we can see that there is only one loop. That entire loop is known as super loop. That is now apply KVL to super loop. I will start from here. That is 10 is equal to current will flow like this and it will flow through 6 ohm register. Current through 6 ohm register is 6I2 plus then current will flow in 8 ohm register. In 8 ohm register current I1 is flowing that is 8 I1 or I can write 10 is equal to 6I2 plus 8 I1 is nothing but 4I2 because now I am interested in calculating I2 I will try to replace I1 by I2 that is into I1 is nothing but 4I2 or I can write 10 is equal to 6I2 plus 32 I2 or I can write 10 is equal to 38 I2 or I can write I2 is equal to 10 divided by 38. So solving this I will get I2 is equal to so that is 10 divided by 38. So it gives 0 0.263, 0 0.263. So this is the current I2 which flows through 6 ohm register when we consider 10 volt source alone. So therefore now I can write total current flows through 6 ohm register is equal to I1 plus I2 that is I1 is 0 0.394 0 0.394 plus 0 0.263 which is equal to so that is 0 0.263 plus 0 0.394 so total current flows through 6 ohm register is 0 0.657 0 0.657 this is the required result amps so total current flows through 6 ohm register that is total current flows through this 6 ohm register is 0 0.657 amps now i will verify this by solving the same problem using loop analysis that is i can write verification Now I will solve the same problem using loop analysis method so that I can verify the result. So here we have two loops. Let me assume current through this loop is say I because in this loop in 6 ohm register I is flowing it means in this loop current I is flowing. I will assume current through this loop is say I1. This is I this is I1. So here we can observe that there is a current source between two loops. If there is a current source between two loops, first we need to analyze this current source. Let me analyze that is 3i is equal to, I can write i1 minus i, i1 minus i, i1 first because 3i and i1 are in same direction or I can write 3i plus i is equal to i1 or 4i is equal to i1. So now we have to assume that the current source is removed from the circuit. If it is removed, there is only one loop. That loop is known as super loop. Now apply KVL to super loop. I will start from here. 
that is 15 is equal to voltage across this is 6i plus voltage across this is 8i1 so this is minus 10 or I can write 15 plus 10 15 plus 10 is equal to 6i plus 8i1 or I can write 25 is equal to 6i plus 8i1 so here i1 is equal to 4i so I can write 25 is equal to 6i plus 8 into i1 is 4i 4i or I can write 25 is equal to 6i plus 32i or 25 is equal to 38i so therefore i is equal to 25 by 38 so it is 25 divided by 38 so it gives 0 0.657 0 0.657 amps so here we can observe that by superposition theorem we got 0 0.657 and same answer we got using loop analysis method so the result is verified thank you for watching